Hi guys. Well, we made it out here. Um, I hope the weather holds up. Uh, we'll have to see. But for now, let's go check out the trail. Never ending makeover. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the water is way down. It is, isn't it? Looks wow. like a peaceful little creek now instead of a gigantic lake. Mm -hmm. the other side too. Pardon me. This is a really nice one. several viewing spots which is nice lots of greenery here that's a horsetail fern is that what these ones are these big fuzzy ones are these big fuzzy ones are a uh, grown-up horsetail fern what are these things Look like giant cabbages. Yeah, they're actually from the dinosaur age. I can't remember what they're called. They have big, huge spikes of big yellow flowers early in spring. Wow, can you eat those? Probably not. I don't remember. They're some form of cabbage anyway, I think, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're a, a type of cabbage. Yeah. Yeah, look, they're all over the place here. The birds are happy today anyway. Yeah, I think they sound good. It's kind of the main start of the trail here. You have uh, two ways. You can go down that way, which is just short down to the beach. The camera up a bit, you'll be able to see the beach right there. Oh, nice, huh? But we are heading up this way. Uh, the camera doesn't really show it. This is actually quite steep. As usual, natural steps made from the roots of trees. Which is nice. Trees helping us out again. Oh. I think Linda's trying to get how steep this is on her camera. It's not really steep, but it, 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 there is quite an incline here. It is brilliant exercise though. thing about this trail is look at all that shelter so even on the windy days you can come out here and you'll be pretty sheltered even from the wind you know just got to be careful of branches falling on you that's all I 
again, very hobbit-like, you know, you could you could imagine it like, you know, a trail somewhere in Middle Earth. kind of see the difference there. Yeah, fairly steep. Yeah. Moss. It is, it's lovely. Uh, could you use any of that moss in like bonsais? Yep. This uh this green moss would do very nicely. Nice. Nice thing about moss is you can dry it out, then grind it up and just sprinkle it over your bonsai plant and it'll grow. Oh well, yeah. branches. There's a, I'll give you a quick look at this, there's a nice kind of picnic area out here. Doing really good days is, is lovely. It just comes out here and opens up. See, like there's toilet facilities down there. And there's quite a few benches scattered around. Let me head back in. It splits again and you can go off to uh, a viewing point on either side. So we'll get both of those. That just goes back out to the picnic area there. I'm not sure if that actually goes anywhere. I might go back around to the start. Watch out for those uh, roots.
Uh, I think we got the right way, right? Yeah, that's, oh yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a tree you really like. Oh yeah, I love that thing. I want a bonsai just like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just missed it, like a chipmunk or a squirrel or something. Is, uh, saw that, I'm not sure if the camera picked it up, but hopefully. I actually saw a little grass snake out here on one of our visits, it was cool. It's absolutely brilliant. It's great. You can take multiple recordings. Yeah. What's the name of it again? Merlin. Merlin. Look that up, guys. It's an app on Android and iOS called Merlin. And you can record bird sounds and using the app then uh, upload them and it identifies the type of bird it is. Really brilliant for bird watchers. Alright. So this is where it split. We'll be going up there in a while. It goes around to a lovely viewing point over the beach. Uh, but we're going to head this way. Yeah, you know you're recording them. I think this is the first viewing point we'll see. Got to be careful out here. Because it's just a drop, basically. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. A little choppy out there today. Not, uh, not terrible, though. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, lovely. And when the sun is out, it's a little bit cold this day, but you might be in love for something to come out in a few minutes. The water is so blue. It's, it's incredible. You really have to experience this in real life. It's it's so beautiful.
go, guys. You gotta be careful here because that's just a drop. How beautiful is that, huh? What was that? I got a perfect recording of a of a Swanson's thrush. Nice. You can see we're now at the other side of that picnic area. And that little path there um, goes out to it. Oh yeah. The sun has been good to us. here to keep you safe. There you go, you can see the lighthouse over there. Well, it's too bad there's really no way to get to that lighthouse. Isn't there? I thought there was, no? No, you can't get up to the lighthouse. You can get kind of close on the road. But, but we will be going to see that other lighthouse up yes. by the Hobbit's Trail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That would be in part two of that. Oh, there's a boat out there. Cool. There are a couple boats out there. Yeah. It's just that most of them are really hard to spot. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, I see, I see a second one. Yeah, there's two of them. Someone's having a good fishing day. <laughs> that water looks so inviting. Power of the ocean. Oh, yeah. That is just beautiful. That's it for this part, isn't it? Can we go around to the other side now? Back to yeah, I think so. Yeah. This is definitely a, a really great place for seals to come in and hunt in this little area, especially when the oh, tide yeah. comes in. And they definitely get can get shelter down there too from like barkers and whatnot. Yeah. down here a little further before coming around. But I think this just leads back out again. Oh yeah, there's another uh, nice viewing point. There's lots and lots of viewing points in this trail. It's really fantastic. Okay, I think we can safely turn around now. Mm -hmm. Head up to the next one. Back up that way, and we'll take you around to the other side. And here we are back, and this time we head up this direction. That, of course, is the way back out. the way the light comes through the trees. It was along here that we encountered the little grass snake. It was just sitting there warming up. And this 
say. Isn't that incredible? There's a safety fence here. Big roots. Big huge roots here, yeah. You've got to always watch where you step because uh, there's lots of roots. They are incredibly helpful though in the uphills. did get the sun. Wow, the sun is blazing out now. Awesome, it cleared up. Yeah, if you don't like the weather in Oregon, wait five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. But so many viewing spots in this trail. It's brilliant. And this one is of that wonderful beach. This is Sunset Bay Beach. Yeah. There's the car park down, all the way down over there. What are those? I don't know. I believe this is uh, Manzanita. Although I. I don't have a connection to the internet, so I can't confirm it. Yeah. And this is it. This is the end of the trail. And look, they even give you a little bench to sit down and rest on. This would be a spot if you want to come and read a book or, you know, look at that view you have. Just beautiful. Guys, is the end of the car. Hope you enjoyed it.